The John J. Moran Correctional Facility in Rhode Island is one of the homes of a unique program developed by NEEDS, the Prison Pup Partnership. This NEEDS program, I think it's definitely one of the best programs the prison offers. It allows me to give back to society in a way. It's just a really special thing to know that you're actually helping someone else's life and doing it from in prison was, I, I never fathomed that could be possible. I've always loved animals, I've always had pets and I just thought it was an excellent program they were doing. It's taught me a lot of patience, it's taught me a lot about myself as, as well as animals and it's a, it's a stress reliever in here. Shake. Since 1998, the Prison Pup Partnership Program has run successfully in correctional facilities all over New England. Each puppy is assigned two inmates, a primary and a backup. The inmates have time on their hands to do everything from housebreaking to crate training to basic obedience, as well as making sure the dogs are exposed to the many sights and sounds within the prison walls. Go, bud. Excellent. My dog that I'm currently working with, his name is Buddy. He's a yellow Labrador retriever. Good job. I've been working with Buddy since he was three and a half months, so right now we're closing in on a year. I usually train him about two to three times a day, so I'll have like a morning training session where I'm just teaching him all his, keeping him sharp on all his Good basic job, commands. Buddy. Good, hold. Take him for like a half hour walk, and then he'll get a play session with some of the other dogs that are in here. The training isn't just teaching them tasks and commands and stuff, but like proper behavior, remaining calm by your side, not getting distracted, and there's plenty of distractions for him to really sharpen his skills because they're gonna be with a handicapped person. So we know that the dogs need to like stay calmly by your side no matter what's going on around them. Ready? Let's go. So we take them in here everywhere we can. We'll take them to the dining halls. I take them to visits. If I get a visit, he comes right down to the visiting room with me. You can use check it out, right? Or approach and retreat, that kind of stuff. What's the other thing you could do? Once a week, NEEDS canine instructor Christy Bassett visits the prison to train inmates and troubleshoot problems. During the week, if we have difficulties with uh, a new task or a new command that we've been given, or the, say the dog has an issue with uh, alert barking, the trainer will come in every Tuesday morning and we'll discuss the issues with her and she'll give us tips on how to solve the problem. So your dog slams on the brakes and still doesn't want to go even though you're going. What do you do then? Then she basically has taught us how to teach the dogs all of their commands and and again just giving us passing her knowledge on to us and then she'll give us run us through like some sessions where she'll watch us and see how the dogs are progressing. Treat when at least two paws are on it and then only walk forward if both his paws are down. We don't want to reward by getting off when he's still a little tense. I've learned a lot about personality traits from the dogs, how to identify uh, different body postures and what their language means and how they communicate with you. Come on. Excellent. My dog is going home at the end of class today and it just it makes you feel sad. You've got to say goodbye to your best friend. Since it's his last day, we're just going to run through how far you brought him and where he's at with a couple of his tasks. I'm going to walk through a quick routine with Flynn and Christy will evaluate how he does on all his tasks and commands. You've brought him really far in the past few months, so that's really good. Then after that, she'll give me a short time to <laughs> say goodbye. She'll walk out the civilian door, and I'll walk out the inmate door, and I'll go back to the cell block. Each dog that I've had, I've had for about a year, and definitely built strong bonds with each one of them. You know they're going and they're gonna do a wonderful thing, but it's just really hard to say goodbye. Buddy, he's gonna be leaving soon and it's gonna be another emotional time. And when you get a new dog, it kind of helps a little bit to relieve that, that little emotional phase you go through. I have a picture of each one of my dogs and they're always there, I always look at them, so I'll always remember them. Buddy completed his training and was placed with Daryl Wallace, a combat veteran who lost both his legs in a roadside bomb while serving in Afghanistan. Daryl wanted to meet Buddy's inmate trainer, and a visit with Michael was arranged. Hey. Hello. 
I'm Daryl. Hi, buddy. Mike, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. I'm so glad you came up here. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for coming. How's Buddy doing? Yeah, he's doing awesome. Is he doing awesome. good? Hey, buddy. Hey, boy. Do you remember me? Okay. Do you remember me, boy? Meeting Buddy again. I mean, Buddy's been gone for about a month, and I kind of, kind of get choked up a little inside. I knew like I was going to see him, and then when I saw his face, it definitely hit me. Just glad to see him one more time, and it hasn't even been that long, but. I know that this may possibly be the last time I see him, who knows. Good boy. Buddy, tell me a secret. Give me a kiss, I like that. <laughs> oh, come on! Mike's a good guy. Yeah, he got locked up or something he done, but he trains the dog awesome things. And he really did a good job, and I felt like it was the least I could do to come say, hey, I appreciate everything you've done and everything. I so. can't tell you enough anyway. I really do thank you for your service to our country. It means a lot to me, you are definitely a hero. When I first received Buddy and I was told that he was donated by a woman whose son was killed in Iraq, she named Buddy after his dog and she was hoping that he would end up with a combat veteran as well. I was just, it just makes me feel really good that that's what actually happened. Buddy's right where he belongs. I'm glad to see it. I'm really yeah, he's good dog. I appreciate everything. You always love every dog that you have but yeah. I think he was my favorite of all. I'm very happy for that he gave me the opportunity to meet him just it's I mean you know you have the dogs and you know where they're going but when you see them at the end with the person that they're gonna end up spending the rest of their life with it's it's a great opportunity I'm glad I had that chance today